what is up guys um excuse the background looks kind of messy i feel but um anyways i'm coming on here to um do a cooking video so yeah i'm making cheeseburgers and fries tonight simple but i was like let's give them a video so um yeah that's what we're gonna do so i'm gonna show you like all my ingredients and we're gonna make some burgers simple as that so if you want to keep watching or if you want to see what i'm if, oh, if you want to see how i make my burgers and fries and keep on watching there we go <laughs> Look, my bitches all bad, my niggas all real. I ride his dick in some big tall hills, big that checks, big large bills, burn out flip like ten car wheels, cold ass bitch. I give raw shoes, send it for looks, and my lips so kill. I kiss him in the mouth, I feel all grills, heat in the car, that's not on wheels. Woo! I was born. Okay, so I got my ground beef and I'm only using a couple of seasonings. I use this um Steakhouse onion burger um, with garlic seasoning from McCormick. This is what it looks like. So, well, of course, I'm gonna this in here. And I change up my seasonings every time I make the burgers, usually depending on like my taste. But I usually always use um, salt and pepper in this, and then I'll use. Um, one more different seasoning that I usually is the one that I switch up today. I'm using um, seasoned salt. Let me move this seasoned salt, Larry's. Um, that was my other seasoning of the day today. And then I have salt and pepper. I'm using a little bit of that. You don't need too much salt because the Larry's has salt. And then I got pepper. All right. So we got clean hands. Just wash them. Um, so now we're going to do the job. Oh, make sure you guys are in focus. But yeah, you guys can see it. It looks good. It smells good. Now we're going to make our burgers. Have that we combine everything. Well, right now I'm only gonna be mixing it up because I still have to add some more stuff. I'm gonna add more seasoning. Wash my hands real quick. So I'm gonna be touching my seasonings with dirty hands so but after we do this we're gonna cut up um peppers and onions because i like to put that in my um burgers also i always put onion but if i have um pepper pepper bell peppers at home then i will put that in there also which i do today so i'm gonna be um Putting an um, onion, some um, diced onion, diced green peppers, and diced red peppers in here. So, let go over there. Alright, so I hope you guys can see. But, um, I got my red, my green, and then I got my onion. So, I'm only going to cut some of this because we're just... Putting it on the inside, nothing too crazy. Like we don't need it to overpower the burger itself. And then I put more onion than anything because I love onion. So here's my onion and then pepper and then pepper. All right, so I'm gonna move the onion to the side. I'm gonna do the peppers first. I'm 
I always cut this little skin stuff off. I don't know what it is, but it's ugly looking, so. Alright, so that goes to the side. And then make sure you take out the seeds if there's still seeds. So it should look basically like this. And then you're going to turn it over and cut. Alright, so they should look like this. They could be as big or as small as you would like them. I like them diced, but I like them on the chunkier diced side. Because I like to actually taste them in my burgers. If you know what I mean so um, I leave them I would say like pretty decent size but yeah so move this out the way now we're doing the red one Okay, so I'm getting my cutting board. Alright, that's all of it. So while before I um start, I'm gonna um cut on my stove to like a medium high. And um, that way, by the time I'm done with the patties, I can go ahead and put them on the stove. All right, so I'm gonna mush all this together. So I usually make it in like a ball. Like I gather all that I need and I form the ball as so. And then when it's formed, then I start pressing it, press it, press and like tuck. So like the shape stays and like the stuff on the inside stays. Hope you guys get what I mean. Like press, tuck, turn, press, tuck, turn, press, tuck, turn. Like that. And I do that a couple of times, make sure everything is in there. Nothing is coming out, everything is good. And you should get a burger as such. Now we're gonna set that to the side. These are what the burgers are looking like. They look amazing if I say so myself. So now we're gonna go put them on the stove. Got my burgers, y'all kind of close, so I hope y'all don't get popped. Oh, by the way, I sprayed my pan with some um, olive oil spray. I'll show you guys in a minute. Some regular olive oil spray. It could be off-brand, on-brand, whatever. Just some olive oil spray so your burgers don't stick. And like I said, I have my um, oven on a medium, like a medium high, but it's mostly on medium. Like if you guys have the number, the numbers on your stove, mine is on a six right now. So yeah, we're just gonna let these bad boys cook. You guys see all that steam and juiciness? So yeah. Okay, so I'm about to um, put these oven, these ovens, oh my gosh, <laughs> these fries in the oven while the burgers are cooking. The oven is on 350, so yeah, I, um, I put some seasoning salt, the Larry's that you guys see me use for the burgers, I put some of that on my fries, so yeah, I'm, that's all I did, and then now I'm going to put them in the oven.
Okay, I let my stuff sit on there longer because I like it to get as dark as possible or as cooked as possible, should I say, before I turn it. So, gotta make sure they're in the center. But yeah, that's what they looking like. Y'all see them grill marks? No girl marks though. Hold on, let me get y'all a closer look. Yes, they looking good, good, good. I'm actually gonna turn it up a little bit, so there it's gonna be on seven instead of six. But uh, yeah, they're cooking. Y'all need a little, a some, a some more. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Okay, so um, I just reflip the burgers again and I put them in the oven. Um, usually after they're done cooking on both sides, I poke like either I like cut it a little bit, or, like I'll poke a hole in it so that way I can make sure they're cooking on the inside because you know they're thick. And then I put them in the oven on 350 um, so they can finish cooking in the oven to make sure that they're cooked on the inside. That's just what I do personally. I don't feel like they cook all the way on the stove. So yeah, they're in the oven now along with my fries that are still cooking. So yeah, I'll just come back before um, I start plating when the food is done. Okay, so the burgers are done. They do get smaller when they're in the oven, so be weary of that. But I cut them open and they are done on the inside, so perfect. Then my fries are done. So now we're about to do the buns. I was making cheeseburgers, so I just put the cheese on the burgers. It's two different kinds of cheese, is why you see it like like that because I had to cut them in half so I can use both kinds on each burger. But yeah, so I'm gonna put this back in the oven so they can melt. Okay, right, so I got my buns in there. If you want to put them on something, that's up to you. I usually don't. I just let them cook like that because I just leave them in there for like literally like five seconds so you get like a little crispy. I got some butter on top of them. So it'll melt and be all soft and juicy. And then my burgers are over there melting up. So yeah. And they're good and toasty. So I'm gonna put some ketchup and mustard on it. Um, I don't know, I use French's yellow mustard. to get that a good shake. I like to put some on my top and bottom bun. And then I just got some regular ketchup. Where do you guys keep your ketchup and mustard? I keep my, my mustard in the fridge and my ketchup in the pantry. What about y'all? Comment down below what you guys personally do. But um, let me go ahead and get my burgers and also guys for the cheese it's better to put the cheese on your burgers like a little bit before they're done that way um they don't overcook like i forgot so like when i had to put them back in there so it'd melt like they got more crispier like the burgers they're not gonna be dry but you know what i mean so there's that, but it's all good. So it's not as melted as I would like, cause I didn't want them to burn, <laughs> but they did melt. Like you can see, it didn't melt, so they looking good. We're doing paper plate because um, don't nobody got time to be watching extra dishes. But uh, let me take a a bite for y'all real quick, like even though it's hot, it's gonna burn 
my mouth. But that looks really good, right? Ketchup though. Mm. But yeah. <laughs> Other than that, A1. Alright, so I'm about to eat my dinner. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Make sure you let me know if you guys would like more videos like this. I'll be sure to do them because I love to cook. But um, yeah, like I said, let me eat my dinner. And I love you guys. Mm -hmm.